Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. For Kim Kardashian's birthday, her husband Kanye West created a hologram of a dead father. He was made to say some comforting things. I watch over you and your sisters and brother and the kids every day. And some things that Kanye wanted to say. You married the most, 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 most genius man in the whole world. On the other hand, GPT-3, an artificial intelligence program or software has been hitting the headlines. Why? Because of its ability to create articles from scratch. Here is one that it had done for The Guardian. Summarizing research in a understandable, logical and cogent fashion and giving answers much better than these Siri's and Cortana's and Alexa's. So because we live in a godless capitalistic society then these very people who have forsaken God have to pin their purpose on other things. Yeah, That's why you see such a cult-like following for football teams, for celebrities and nationalism. Yeah, And that's why you also see suicide being the option when couples break up because so much has been invested in that other individual, yeah, your entire happiness. But even so, we find it very difficult to move on when somebody that's close to us passes away, yeah. Now sadness on one side but not being able to move on I think is exacerbated by the presence of photographs, yeah. As we know tangible photographs are not permissible within Islam. And one of the benefits that can be seen is it helps people move on. Having photographs there makes a person regress yeah, into their past whilst not having photographs helps a person move on. Because here's where psychology kicks in because you have something called the fading effect bias which is as time progresses we tend to remember the positive things from our experiences. For example if you've had a kid yeah, you're going to remember the kids uh, trophies and uh, all the positive things rather than the cleaning of diapers and the sleepless nights. That's why people have multiple kids. And you have something called PTG, yeah, post-traumatic growth. This is the opposite of the famous PTSD. So PTG is as time progresses you grow from the traumatic experiences. As believers obviously we know that death is an integral step for us to make it to the hereafter yeah, and paradise and so on. And the temporary nature of life actually motivates us to make the most of our life. But the more godless we become, the more attached and clingy we become to things like human beings. And that's why a scholar quite aptly said that we dislike death because we have built this world and we have destroyed the hereafter. Therefore we dislike going from somewhere that we have established to somewhere that we have neglected. And this particular attachment is exactly what Dajjal will exploit. He will raise a version of your parents as propaganda for his deity. Now here Kanye West showed us the hologram at its early stage. Yeah it's got AI and 5G or whatnot and yeah it looks you know fairly alright you know. But think about it, the more quantum computers start developing, the more nanotechnologies 5G turns to 6G, AI is going to be more convincing. And people already through the Neuralink they're talking about downloading of thoughts. Yeah so imagine if the mind starts getting mapped you're pretty much going to have a fairly similar version of your parents. So at that time are you going to be somebody that clings on to the past and because of that spoils your Iman or are you going to be somebody that understands the transient nature of this world and doesn't need these sorts of things and understands that it's the hereafter that we are going to. So I guess the solutions are somewhat obvious. We need to become more God conscious yeah because the more God conscious you become the more detached you become from the very things that people are using to manipulate you. And number two the aim is to become self-employed and you know have your businesses online as well because of these lockdowns and all of these things you don't want to rely on the government 
handing out these care packages because you know with these care packages if you refuse to take certain things that they want to give you they're gonna start taking them away yeah we're already seeing with certain things and of course there's a lot of discussion on AI taking jobs anyway another thing I guess I would say is invest more in your education so you have more options so if one option goes belly up then you have other options as well and lastly, aim to make the most of your loved ones and parents whilst they are alive. Because sometimes when they pass away, then we feel the need to cling on to things because we're filled with guilt. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.